By now, you've seen our brand new weather center, and I want to give you a behind the scenes look at what you're seeing. So come on up into the weather center. We'll give you a look at what this is all about. It's not just aesthetics, it's actually designed for function. So this is on a riser. Underneath this, there are well, tons of wires that feed into all of these computers. The great things about most of these computers is one terminal uh, can operate most of our equipment. So you could have different people at workstations running a number of different computers. This runs our uh, neighborhood network with all of our cameras all across Green Country. We're really proud of that. It comes in very helpful, not just locally when there's severe weather, but also nationally when we have storms coming into the coast or winter storms across parts of the Midwest. We can show you that live. This is the feed of our computers. We stack and rack our shows and adjust things. We do that on the fly in a severe weather situation to quickly to be able to come over here and adjust with the latest images. It's going to be extremely helpful to us. Behind the scenes, we look at a lot of different data in different formats. We're able to access those from a number of different spots. So during a severe weather event, somebody will be able to actually take the time to forecast the weather and build the graphics as well. The social media, we're trying to put that out there for you uh, on our uh, Channel 2 uh, website as well as on Facebook and Twitter and other sources. We're able to also communicate with different places in the building. So I'm able to call the newsroom and ask them if they, uh, they've got a crew that's maybe in harm's way with lightning coming in or uh, let us know about uh, a microwave shot that uh, is up and available to us so we can communicate during severe weather. Here, what you see in set in these desks are actually the controls of our radar. Of course, Viper 2, that's our monster radar that sits down in Coweta. If you've taken the Muscogee Turnpike, you have seen that. These, of course, all in all in HD, and we're able to show you exactly what's going on very specifically. So that's up and running. In addition to that, of course, we have our radar here on Brookside, our Enterprise radar, and that feeds into the double Doppler system. Again, all with the great resolution to show you exactly where the storms are. These HD monitors uh, back here are very helpful for us to show you what's going on as we stream uh, video from our storm chasers and also from Tornado Alley Live. We'll be able to show you those images. All right, we'll step back here and notice a number of dif different workstations. Today, I've got George Flickinger, but on a normal day, it would just be maybe one or two of us. But in severe weather, George, we might have 10 people or so back here all working. We all have different workstations, so each one of us can be working on our own task during severe weather. Excellent. He's updating our website right now, and this would be able to control our weather station that we have. Of course, we have an internal chat room that we can communicate as well as talk with the folks from the National Weather Service back and forth. We give them information. They provide us with information. Uh, this is data streaming into our computers with information that we need. Another computer that's hooked up to everything. So from one place, you can run the whole show, whether it's back here or up front. These are the controls for uh, the radar uh, that we have that we can manipulate that and monitors as well. So again, when you see us on the air and you see all these beautiful TVs and all this new shiny set, know that it's designed for function. That function is provide you with the latest information. We can do that now with greater ease and more immediacy so you get the information right here faster than you're going to find it any place else. Hey, thanks for taking the tour.